our wardrobe every morning stuck on what to wear. Major first world problem, right? Oh, I mean, even trying to pick something from Netflix, I mean, it flips me out. We've got to learn to lead ourselves. I'm 19. I'm about to graduate as a police officer at my parents' farm to see my brother's brand new bike. He lets me take it into town to fill it up. So, I head off into town, pull into the servo, fill it up, get my helmet on, pay for the fuel, jump back on the bike, kick it over. Now as I kick it over, the engine roars into life and then the bike roars out from underneath me. I am at the beginning of a very, dare I say it, enigmatic waltz around the bowsers of the servo. I go left, I go right. At one point, the bike points me towards a vending machine. I bounce off the vending machine and then start heading out towards the highway. There's two old guys on the highway. Okay, they're in my direct flight path. I flatten them both. They go crashing into the canvas, the bike falls down, I fall on top of the bike. Now I tell you this story because it's a really good example of me leading myself into a very bad decision. All I needed to do was let go, but instead I flattened two old blokes on a nature strip. Now, bike stories aside, I had to learn the hard way to lead myself at the most terrifying place for me of all, school. After being beaten up by three bullies, my best friend, I was simultaneously in a state of anxiety and depression, not knowing when the next beating would come and why I got beaten up in the first place. I speak to my mum and dad one night, and my mum says something to me that has stayed with me until this very day. She just said, mate, be a leader, even if you're the only one in the team. That became my mantra. I was going to be the leader of me. This was my epiphany. In, in my senior year, I cold call radio stations. I get three interviews, one job. One of them offers me a job at Forest B, King of Roy. I also get accepted into the Queensland Police Force. Where I came from a beaten up 12 year old to someone who made the commitment to lead themselves is the very reason I know that you guys can lead yourselves in any situation you find yourselves. Be a leader, even if you're the only one in the team. The first thing to do in any leading situation is to commit. Even if you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, okay, and you end up making a decision that ends up in being a wrong decision, I guarantee if you make that same decision the next time, it will be a much better decision. Carry that commitment to everything that you do into every decision that you make, no matter how small, no matter how insignificant. Oh, I never forgot. I didn't finish my motorbike story. So I get back home. I don't tell anyone anything. The next day, I have to go back to the academy. My police shirts are hanging in the back of my car. I go to the same server that I was at 24 hours earlier. Pull in, fill up, pay the cashier. The cashier notices my police shirts and says, you a copper, mate. I said, oh, I'm in training. He said, mate, you should have been here yesterday. This little shit turned up on his bike. <sighs> Goals never acted upon are just dreams. So act on those dreams. Your first goal to lead is to commit to action to the decision. Even CEOs are guessing when they're making complex decisions. Being a leader... It's not about changing the world. Being a leader is about changing your understanding of leading. If you can understand how powerful you, as an agent of change, can be in this world, what you are capable of, how much you can affect someone else's life, including your own, you can lead. I challenge you. Commit to lead. Inspire, and others will follow. Be a leader, even if you're the only one in the team.